Local Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. We're starting off the day with no problems as far as precipitation goes, but it is chilly this morning. Probably going to need that jacket. The kiddos will probably need one too this morning. We're looking at temperatures right now in several locations in the 30s, as you can see. It's 41 out at the airport in Terre Haute. It's 43 in Vincennes, but we do have that wind now coming out of the north, that little boundary moving through our area last night. So that wind is is actually leading to a chill in the air and even in places where temperatures are in the 40s it feels like the 30s and as you can see we do have some wind chills in the 20s for some of our northern areas too so it is a colder start start to what's going to be a colder afternoon for us and that wind factored in again going to add that chill to the air we're going to get a changing wind and we're going to get winds picking up speed as we get into the night tonight and into our Friday Friday morning, we're going to start to get more of an east wind ahead of that low pressure that's coming in. And you can see wind gusts could be up to 40 miles per hour. So wind is going to be a factor as well as we go throughout the day Friday. By Friday night now, that system is lifting through our area. So winds will be shifting and coming back out of the north. And that's going to bring down colder air. And it's going to also add the chill once again as we start our weekend. We do have a flood wall out for most of the area and if I remove this green shading there's also a wind advisory for much of the area as well so we're sitting with two situations where advisories or watches have been issued let's talk about why we've got right now clouds and precipitation all south of us plenty of moisture is trying to stream in ahead of this weather maker this area of low pressure is what's going to kick out of the southwest and come our way for tomorrow Today, we're actually getting breaks in the clouds through the overnight. We'll see some sunshine. You can see how clouds are already filtering back across those areas in Missouri. And as we go through the day, we'll kind of get some sunshine, but then the clouds come back and here comes the rain. After midnight, overnight, right on through the day tomorrow, and I want to stop this here because by tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, some of our northern counties now looking like there may be some of that snow that we talked about. Not a lot, but some and in other areas, maybe some snowflakes in the air. I don't think we're talking about measurable snows for most of our area. Let's first talk about rain. The reason the flood watch is out is because we're talking some areas picking up more than two to two and a half inches of rain. The further south and east you go, the heavier the rain is going to be. But you can see a lot of rain, a lot of moisture associated with this system. Let's show you snow projections because, again, the further north we go now, do you see we're starting to show where some of that snow might actually measure? That's not covering most of the valley. But I at least want you to know as we go into Friday night and early Saturday morning, for areas that don't see the snow, you still may see some snowflakes in the air with a reminder this is a really strong system. Today, not bad at all. We'll see sunshine and 55. Now, again, yesterday we broke a record at 74. So much cooler throughout the course of the day today. I'd grab a jacket if I were you. Tonight, if you're going to be out late after midnight, rain moves in. Tomorrow, everyone needs the umbrella and get ready for a nasty end to the week. A dry weekend and a warmer start to next week before some colder than normal air by the middle of next week. All right, thanks so much. Julie.